Hello, Internet. Uh, quick disclaimer. We've we, lost the footage. Of us talking. Of us talking. So it's going to be audio only? Yes. With clips from the show. Yes. Uh, we lost it for discussion and, and the us actually watching as well. It, it was This Technical happens. Technical difficulties. Yes. So to make up for it, we are actually going to do two episodes this week. Uh, today and Friday. So look forward to that. Uh, and again, sorry for the inconvenience. It will go back to normal uh, in a week or so. We promise. You can see our beautiful faces. Again. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the episode. Awkward Mafia. Uh, fix my shirt. It's community. Oh, friend. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello internet. internet. Welcome to another episode of Aqua Mafia Watches Community and Friends. I'm yep. Jesse. <laughs> I'm Christine. Today we are watching season two, episode fourteen, the one about the island. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the one about the lost community on an island. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, one hundred and one. <laughs> the two naming conventions of friends and, and community are very different. One's always about the one about something, and community is always about the name of a class. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Anyway, what we're really watching is one of them. The one about how to make friends with one of them 101. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if you can, if you guys can tell, uh, I'm wearing a friend's, a friend's sweater, and he's wearing a community shirt. Yes. So that's why we said those things. I really like community. <laughs> I and like I friends. really like friends. I also like friends. I also like community. Hey, there, there you see? go. There yeah. you go. This is why we're friends. Hmm. And why we're a community. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and why we're lost. <laughs> and why this is called Awkward Mafia. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, stuff happened last time. You know, things happen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> people, people regress. <laughs> people regress. That happens <laughs> in real life. Yeah. But also TV a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, for example, season four of Community and the later seasons of Friends. Yeah. <laughs> People regress. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, we got to maintain the status quo. Season season eight of, uh, I think it was season eight of Friends when like, okay, if, if you haven't watched Friends by now. <laughs> we don't need to get yeah. into it. It's yeah. a trope of it's sitcoms trope. Yeah. where everyone regresses. And it's a trope of season two of Lost, I guess. <laughs> but we're moving forward with what I say is the real start of the season. Oh. Well, Dang. I don't know about the real start. Episodes in. <laughs> I'd say the second start of the season. I'm like 13 episodes and it's the real start. <laughs> That's a whole the, anime season, Jesse. <laughs> the real start is the first episode. I, I, do, I do think the premiere of season two is real good. And the first few episodes are interesting. Yeah. But the plot starting now. <laughs> the plot hasn't started yet. The, the overall, the bigger plot is starting now. Before it's just been set up. That's now, true. Now we're like yeah. getting into it. Because so, yeah, they haven't done Walt yet. They haven't no, really, he's just gone. And just, Michael's gone. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's been status quo for a few episodes. So, but now things are going to start moving. So, let's watch. But first, you at home, don't forget support the official release on like DVD. Hulu <laughs> and and such DVDs. DVDs. Buy them. Buy them. Blu-ray. Is it on Blu-ray? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Oh, buy it on Spence. Blu-ray. <laughs> let's watch. Oh, they got to show that again. <laughs> I know. Shit. It feels like this might have been. A bit of a delayed from the previous episode. Like, mm-hmm. they gotta remind people, hey, all mm-hmm. this happened. <laughs> Actually, that makes sense, because if it was, this is episode 13. Yeah. Uh, Probably so winter been... break might have happened, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, everybody. We're back. This. <laughs> Honestly, good break. Iraq back in the PS2 era. <laughs> Special effects aren't great. But there's no place in Hawaii. It looks like Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. You mean the tropical island doesn't look like it does? I mean, they make it look like London. Pretty good. And LA. And Australia. <laughs> I mean, you can just go inside of... Most of them were inside buildings, though. Hmm. So. Patelli here says uh, you speak English. Never do any translating? Formally, no. Hell. In fact, you know what formally means. We're good. <laughs> Fair. Where's Jack? Uh, these two having to pair up, I guess. A little awkward. Yeah. Go back on your business. Yeah, that's right. She kidnapped Aaron at the end. Last time everyone saw her. 
Said's probably the only one who treated her with kind of like, hey, are you okay? What's going on? I was going to wait until dark. Let find you at your tent. What would you ask us? When did they ask? He says he does not know. <laughs> Look, we know for a fact he interrogated the pilot the day before yesterday. Hell, probably in this room. What's he saying? He says he does not know. And I was born, but I wasn't born yesterday, son. <laughs> right. Now, you don't help me out here, someone else will take over. And that someone, he won't play nice at all. You recognize that soldier? Is it his friend? He's not his friend. Right? Okay. Him. You had your chance. Oh, him? Uh, no, I don't remember. It's, uh, Kate's dad. Oh, okay. Her military dad. Oh, okay, okay. What do you got there, Eron? Nothing. Oh, well. Look at who's got a secret stash. Please, dude, you can't tell. Did you get a gun? Yeah. Dude, it's just a tree frog. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. You help me find that thing, you can keep right on ranch dip. Okay. Is that Desmond? Where she says. <laughs> it's one of them. I have no idea what she's talking about. She's crazy. It's not mine. How long has he been up there? Since last night. Please just come me down. My name is Henry Gale. I'm from Minnesota. I'm going to cut him down. Don't. Wait, Danielle, don't. Ooh, why I gave you my gun? <laughs> Never said crossbows were off the table. <laughs> oh, he's not dead. If you wanted to kill him, I would have killed him. <laughs> Fancy Brown. I want to talk to you about your buddy. Tariq. A.K.A. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Alright, look, I get it. <laughs> his loyalty. Why would you tell me that? He's also Lex Luthor. <laughs> I get that. And I respect it. Good, 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 good. Say ye me, boy. <laughs> this is what Tariq was doing. Dub. <laughs> He's the head of the Chemical Warfare Battalion in the North. Personally supervised the use of sarin gas on this village. You recognize it, don't you? You had relatives in that village, didn't you, sir? Loyalty is a virtue, but I'm questioning loyalty. I don't think that's you. Why well, should I believe you? How do you think we knew you had relatives in that village? We liberated your personnel file and Tariq's. All we want is our pilot back. Tariq would never talk to you. That's why you're going to have to make him talk to you. Who are you? Henry. Henry Gale. I'm my back. We're going to take it out, but first I want you to relax. How did you get to this island? Four months ago. We crashed my wife and I. Crashed in what? A balloon. We were trying to cross the Pacific. What the hell's going on here? Rousseau trapped him in the jungle. She believes he's an other. An other what? <laughs> you shot him with an arrow? Do I have a bow? <laughs> what, you were just gonna let him bleed to death? I was trying to get honest answers while he was able to give them. Jack, do not untie him. He's like, ooh, okay. <laughs> Saeed's not trusting this guy. Oof. Yeah, you gotta cut the ends off. Mm -hmm. Does Jack have the combination to the armory? For now he does. How long would it take for you to change it? And I think we both know that Jack will have issues with what must be done in order to get it. A couple minutes tops. And I suggest you get started. No, Sayyid! <laughs> mm. Why? Poor Kay. Say! What the hell are you doing? What needs to be done? Man, they're just making all these characters bad. Saeed, 
انت جندي مخلص ابن بطل كبير لا تجيب العار لابوك شيل هذاك حطه فوق راسك ولفه بالشريك اقتل نفسك هسه هذا امر سويه وموت بدك تجيلك شوية شرف انت تريدني ان اقتل نفسي المعلومات مش مهمه لك He's like, you killed my family, bro. <laughs> Look at me and tell me if this is a block. <laughs> you killed my family, bro. You want to tell me ugly? <laughs> the pilot was executed two days ago. He's buried in a field four kilometers from here. I can take you there. Mm. Why is it this combination working, John? Did you change it? What if he's telling the truth, John? What if he's not? Who are you? Have you were in a cave for all that time. On the north shore of the island. How far from this beach to where you were captured? I don't know. How many days walk? Two, two days. Why did you stay on the beach for so long? Why wouldn't we? We wanted to be there for flyovers. Your wife. What is her maiden name? Murphy. Where did you meet her? University of Minnesota. How did she die? She got sick. Started as a fever. I don't know why you're treating me this way. Why I have to explain to you who I am when you don't tell me who you are. I was 23 years old when the Americans came to my country. I was a good man. I was a soldier. And when they left, I was something different. For the next six years, I did things I wish I could erase from my memory. Things which I never taught myself to be capable of. But I did come to learn this. There is a part of me which was always capable. My name is Saeed Jara, and I am a torturer. And then this goofy adventure. <laughs> this Where fun is? adventure finding a fucking frog there it is. in the jungle. The most important plot mm -hmm. line. <laughs> Why is Sawyer so obsessed with this frog? Because it's annoying him. <laughs> Why don't I take him? Far from here. Two beaches away. So maybe I'll find a Mrs. Tree Frog. Yeah, that's one idea. There's another. Jeez, Sawyer. Dude, you have a little ranch that tastes just like chicken. This balloon that brought you here with your wife, tell me about it. She's 140 feet high, 60 feet wide. And when she's up in the air, 550,000 cubic feet of helium and 100,000 of hot air keep her up. And if you could look down on her, you'd see a big yellow smiley face on the top. Where is she buried? <laughs> what? You said you buried your wife. Tell me where. In the jungle. By the balloon in the jungle. How deep? How deep did you dig the grave? I don't. It, it how was... deep? How many shovelfuls of earth? Did you use your hands? How long did it take you? I don't remember. You would remember. You would remember how deep. You would remember every shovelful, every moment. You would remember what it felt like to place her body inside. You would remember if you buried the woman you loved. You would remember if it were true. Did you? Did you lose someone? It was an accident. The woman responsible thought she was someone else. Someone coming to hurt her. Someone like you. You know what I know. Tell me now. Open it now, Jack. This has to happen. You open that damn door. You understand me? You open it now. No. Now. Let go of me, Jack. Oh, God. You want to push the button? Open the door. You wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't what? You're the one who won't risk it. You. Me? I don't think anything's gonna happen when we get down to zero. Jack, you wanna see what's gonna happen? Let's just see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Got a point there. Okay. Okay, right 15, left. You think I'm stupid, you <laughs> Damn. Don't tell me the raw combination can do it. Oh boy. stuff just happened <laughs> there was like a bird like three swords there's his daughter actual little picture of the actress oh cool when she was younger yeah what you made me do no human being should ever have to do to another but 
that's what happened with Hillary. Yeah. But you can put she at that time. Well, that's uh, that's how I feel my personal. I will never do that again. Let's fair back to Ramadi. Let's move out. Wow. The Americans are the one that taught him how to torture, really. Checks out. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't even need to because he's fluent. <laughs> Checks out. I figured it out. You know? Why are you telling me this, Said? Jack asked me how I knew. How I knew for sure that he was one of them. One of the others. I know because I feel no guilt for what I did to him. But there is no way I can ever explain that to Jack or even Locke. Because both of them have forgotten. That you were strung up by your neck and left for dead. That Claire was taken and kept for days during which God only knows what happened to her. That these people, these others, are merciless. And can take any one of us whenever they choose. So tell me, Charlie, have you forgotten? That was episode 14, One of Them. What'd you think? <sighs> I mean... He didn't, I mean, he didn't exactly torture him. <laughs> No, I mean he threatened just, to. He just kind of beat him and up. And he a beat bit. him up. But uh, would you call this a slide back for Said? Um, a little. I mean, it's not like he's torturing one of the other survivors or something. This yeah. is a man he suspects of being the enemy. Yeah, but a man he blames. Or part of a group he blames for the death of Shannon, we now know. Yeah. That's why, like, when Jack was like, is it just anger, right? Um, you know. Yeah. Or was it Locke? One of them said it. Um, and. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, like, he never really got resolution for that. And. It, he doesn't blame Anna Lucia. No. We now know. I mean, it was always, it was a little unclear. Uh, but now we know like, it's not her. He doesn't think it's her fault. He think it's yeah. their fault for yeah. scaring her like that. Yeah. And like, ultimately the root of it was she was scared of the others because of what they did to her group. So it's them, which yeah. All right. Yeah. Like true. <laughs> mm. And yeah, like he didn't, but it, I guess it was just like, no matter what, like he didn't want to torture anyone ever again, but yeah, you know. Yes. After after Sawyer. Yeah. And before Sawyer, he's he yeah before he before again. Sawyer, right? So like. And then for Sawyer, he was like, "Oh, an opportunity to do it." I, you know. What? <laughs> yeah. And then now, no hesitation. Uh, again, because he doesn't trust this guy. Yeah, it's easier, right? When the person you're gonna torture is like you don't trust them. Yeah. Because I think with Sawyer, it was like he was part of their group. You know? Yeah. So it was a little... It's similar to, like, the... His commanding officer. Mm. Right? He tr- he was loyal to him, and then, like, he found out what he did. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, this guy's, like... has nothing to do with them. He's never seen this guy, like... So it was easier. But, like, yeah. But he still didn't go all the way back, I think. I, I think he definitely vented out some of his anger by beating him up. Yeah, Saeed has been kind of somber yeah. since Shannon died. Yeah. Only appearing up here and there. Uh, this is his first episode since then. And you find it's the flashback is the first time he tortured someone. And you get the backstory on that. Uh, Americans intervene, gave him the tools, gave him the motivation uh, for some reason. I mean, we're just playing mind games. <laughs> they wanted their, their pilot back, but. Mr. Krabs could have done it himself at any time. I'm a big Clancy Brown fan. I, I really like his portrayal of Lex Luthor in the Justice League cartoons and Superman animated series. He's also Suter in uh, Thor Ragnarok, the big fire guy. Who, I gotta watch Thor Ragnarok again. He destroys uh, Asgard. Oh, okay. And I will do it. Yeah. No. Oh. He's in. Uh, and he's in uh, Daredevil Season 2? As Punisher's commanding officer during the war. He plays, you know, superiors in war a lot. <laughs> I haven't seen Daredevil, so... Uh, but, uh, yeah. Always f- glad when he pops up in something. <laughs> hey, Clancy Brown! <laughs> it's Mr. Krabs! <laughs> yeah, I always recall Mr. Krabs, too, because he plays Mr. Krabs on Spongebob. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> go, 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 go. 
<laughs> I love me money. <laughs> yeah, he does a good voice. Wow. Yeah, no, yes. Like, I, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have guessed. He's got the register, the deep yeah. voice. Yeah, he has a but, the same pitch, but yeah. But otherwise, yeah. He does yeah. a voice. Like, Mr. Crab is a voice. Yeah. He's, <laughs> He's a good uh, voice actor. Yeah, yeah. Good actor. He's, he's a good... He, he's one of the few that does, you know, on-screen and mm. uh, voice work. Uh, yes, the big mysteries of the episode. Who is Henry Gale? Do you believe his story? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's ridiculous that he's in a balloon? Yeah, like... Also, his name is Henry Gale. Uh, which is the last name of Dorothy Gale from Wizard of Oz, mm. who, I don't know if you recall, uh, the way out of Oz is in a big balloon, an air, hot air balloon. Oh, yeah. I don't know. She misses it, and that's when she's got to clink her heels together. Because um. that's the, what the Wizard of Oz, that's how he got there, on a hot air balloon. Mm. So the odds that someone named Gale... <laughs> Would be in a hot air balloon, but I mean, his story—he—he he was he didn't like hesitate or, or have to think about his answers. He he knew them, which is I mean, especially the thing that got me was the uh, how we got his money, mining, mining what, non-metallic materials. <laughs> like that's a thing you got to know, you know, before you know you can't just pull that out of nowhere. It's pretty it's pretty believable <laughs> that that answer. But what 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 got Saeed... Was him not knowing how deep he dug his wife's grave. That thing gets me. Mm. When he's saying, you know exactly how many shovelfuls. And he's definitely not over it. (laughs) I mean, it just happened. How could you be? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But is he just taking it out on this guy? Or is he right? He says he knows he's right because he feels no guilt. I don't know if that's a good... Yeah, right. (laughs) I was like... Like, in general... But it is, it's Saeed, though. Saeed felt immense guilt after torturing uh, Sawyer and even his commanding officer, I think. Even yeah. though his commanding officer killed his uh, parts of his family. Yeah. I think that's why he's saying, like, I know why. Because it's like, like, for him, he he believes he would feel really guilty if he just did that. And then and he was wrong. Yeah. Charlie also didn't feel guilt. Yeah. When he killed uh, Ethan Rom. Mm. I don't know if there's some kind of mm. what the meaning of that is, but that's why he went to Charlie, saying you're the only other person who understands. I didn't feel guilt for what I did. Yeah, but also, yeah, Charlie, yeah, Charlie was strung up and like left for dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like he was in direct like contact with them, and yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I am a little surprised that he went to Charlie and not Anna Lucia. Considering, like, even though Charlie was, um, like, actually, you know, he was, t- like, taken by them and stuff. Mm. But, like, Anna Lucia, I think, has just more exposure to them. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he still feels awkward around her. Maybe. Or maybe he just wanted to go to Charlie first because that's his friend and he doesn't really know Anna. Yeah. Uh, maybe the plan is, okay, I got Charlie. Now I'll get Anna. Maybe. Then I'll get this person on my side. And then yeah, something. <laughs> Something will happen then. Yeah, I do think the um the whole like Jack and Locke have forgotten, cause, it in a way yeah like, like, but it all kind of because Jack was the one though that was trying to like, build an army though. Yeah. So but, like. But he also can't just sit by and let a guy get tortured. Yeah. You know. Which is why I don't think it's fair to to say like you know Jack has forgotten like he was the one that was trying to build the army in the first place because of the others like and he was even saying like yeah well we know like as an audience like i don't think anyone thinks we're safe right like and that's why he was with anna lucia the entire time like you there was just a whole episode of like yeah Yeah, i know but being taken overall people the people are pretty complacent yeah uh because what can they do yeah like jack is thinking saying make an army but now they don't got no guns because well, of, of Sawyer, but uh, but I I don't know. You think uh, Saeed is gonna like join this army more in a more direct way? He seems to have been staying out of everything. Yeah, kind of grieving, but now I think he's might be a little more proactive. Yeah, especially now that he's like seen them and like interacted with them. Supposedly, we well, still don't know. Supposedly, that's but why it's a mystery. <laughs> I wrote it down. 
we don't know for sure that the this Henry Gale guy can't be trusted or yeah. can be trusted. Yeah. Or any other way of putting that. <laughs> uh, the second mystery. The... The symbols? The symbols, the hieroglyphics. Is it hilo... Hiero. Hiero... Hieroglyphics. Glyphics. Hiero... Right? Glyphics. Yeah. The more I say it, the more incorrect I feel like I'm right? saying. Hiero... Hi- hiero... Hieroglyphics? Hieroglyphics? Hilogryphics? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> hiero... Yeah. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. H-I-E-R-O-G-L-Y-P-H-I-C-S. Hieroglyphics. Glyphics. <laughs> well, anyway... Uh, the counter hit zero, and then kept going, and then it turned red, and had some Egyptian writing on it. <laughs> Not necessarily Egyptian, but hieroglyphics. I don't think they, I don't think hieroglyphics. I, I, are... I feel like we're saying it too much, so I'm trying to find a different way of saying it. Just symbols. Just say symbols. Symbols. <laughs> you had from ancient symbols. Egypt. <laughs> Why does it have to be from ancient Egypt? Because it was. Was it? Yeah, those were ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. I don't know. Because I'm like, I thought hieroglyphics could be like any... any Multiple co- uh, right? countries have them, yes. Yeah. But uh, mm. but no, these are fans oh. scan them and they oh. are Egyptian. Possibly ah. African, but I mean, Egypt's Egypt in Africa. Africa. <laughs> I know, but that's why it's, it, there's a lot of places in Africa where they yeah. really use it. But I'm pretty, pretty sure it's, it's, it's Egyptian. Egyptian specifically? Yeah. Okay. Huh, okay. What's up with that? <laughs> Is that like a, a buffer? Like, okay, dude. <laughs> Hit enter, or is it like, ta-da, it's a prank. <laughs> like, this is nonsense. None of this is real. Yeah, I was trying to look at the symbols, and it was like, I, I'm not sure if it was like I a saw sword. the bird one. Yeah, there was a bird, and then there were like two or three like sword-looking things. Okay. Like, it's either a sword or like some plant... I don't know. It looked like a sword. I'd look me. it up, but I'm afraid it's a spoiler or uh, something. Yeah. Because <laughs> who knows? Okay. <laughs> But the... I mean, we can go back in the episode and, and check it. Oh, maybe. Let's see. You think I'm an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pretty... You think I'm an idiot? You do it. <laughs> Fucking Jack. This is pretty funny. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, bird. Bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It looks like a um, like an arrowhead, kind of, almost. Yeah, or like some kind of tool. Yeah, like... A stick, or maybe a staff oh, of some kind. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what these what the symbols mean. Maybe that's a. Oh. I know it's an alphabet, right? Mm. So it's not like this picture means bird, and this picture means oh yeah a vowel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, what was that last one? Ah, uh, okay. And we don't see what the middle one is. I don't think. Yeah. Also, they're red and black. Yeah, like, yeah, they're typically white and black, but they turn red and black when mm-hmm. uh, when past zero. Yeah, we almost saw what happens. Damn it. Jack was like, I don't think anything's going to happen, so I don't care. <laughs> Opened up the door. That was pretty funny. He got the one up on, on John. He was like, you made me push the button. <laughs> Are you going to risk it? Hmm? 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 <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's like, all right, Locke deserved that. <laughs> I mean, we got the Hurley Sawyer adventure. Yeah, that was interesting. That's because we needed something light, lighter than so than Saeed's mental breakdown and confrontation with his own grief. <laughs> or rather, possible transferring of his grief onto a target <laughs> that mm. might be an innocent man. Mm. So we need to say, hey... Frog. <laughs> I think it was a little unnecessary for him to kill the frog. Yes, but I think it's the for the straights. Sawyer's not a good guy. Okay, but like we are. They need to remind the audience. We know he's hot and he's done one or two good things, but you need to remember <laughs> he's not a but good then it's guy. Like, you don't need to. Ex- <laughs> you don't need to exemplify that by making him kill an animal. Like that's just so. That's like psychopathic tendencies at that point. And, Sawyer may be a sociopath, but he's not a psychopath. Like, I, he's not. He's southern. They kill animals. <laughs> That's what they do. They hunt. No, they like, they shoot animals with their BBs when they're when they're bored and young. What? I've the kill a mockingbird. <laughs> it's a thing. 
It's not just in the south. To kill baby animals? That frog wasn't a baby. It was just small. Okay, to Tree kill frogs animals? Yes, they kill animals for fun. Or boredom. That's what they do. It's the South. They're white. That's what they do. Not all people <laughs> in the South are white and kill animals for sport. No, Actually, but... Actually, not even just for sport, for fun. They do when they're young and get toy guns and stuff. I've seen King of the Hill. I've, I've read To Kill this a Mockingbird. I am an expert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've also known a few uh, white trash people in my day. I'm related to many. <laughs> They kill animals when they're bored and young. Well, like that, but that's what I mean. Like, it's not like everyone in the South just does that. Are you calling everyone in the South? <laughs> I'm like, saying people like Sawyer do that. They yeah, that's it's I'm, just a frog. Who cares? I'm killing no, it. No, that's why I'm saying. Problem he's a, solved. But that's why I'm saying like Sawyer's a sociopath. Like, yeah, he happens to be from he, the South. He's not but, a sociopath, but uh, they don't put as much value in the life of small things as you do. Because yeah, they're small. Yeah, no, but like that is one of the like markers. It's not like the only marker, obviously. But I'm just saying like, like I don't think Sawyer is a psychopath, which is why I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying so psychopath either. I'm saying no, I think it's a small thing. Crush it like a bug because it's bug sized. Whatever. Sure. It's annoying me. I was going to kill a boar. Well, no, that, no, that's exactly. <laughs> you no, know, that's why I'm saying like, that's why I'm arguing though, like. They didn't need to make Sawyer do that because I don't think he's a psychopath. I think he's a sociopath. Like, in- I don't think he's a sociopath. You know? No, because he's too empathetic toward to other. He he's just kind of he knows how to. Sociopaths still feel like that's what I mean. Psychopaths don't feel. No, empathy, I mean but he, sociopaths he he's like he's they more still- he's more like Will Graham in in Hannibal, where he can just. He understands everyone's point of view. That's why he's so good at conning people. Yeah, sociopaths can do that. They still feel things. Like, they don't... Like, that's what I mean. The difference between... There are two different things. Sociopaths and psychopaths are not the same thing. And people think they are, but they're not. Like, psychopaths can't feel necessarily... Like, they don't really feel the same emotions that we do. Therefore, they cannot empathize. Sociopaths do feel. They can feel things. And they can empathize. They just... They're not, like... They're just, they don't tend to, and, like, it's hard for them to do that. So, like, Yeah, but just say, it's you, not, I think it's very easy for Sawyer to do that. I think it's too empathize? easy. Empathize? Yes, I think that's why he's good at conning people. That's how he knew how everyone would react. No, but he's not empathizing. In he's, the last episode. He's manipulating them. Empath- like, yeah, but he's... He u- understands, he, yeah. He, he's uh, using his empathy to manipulate people. I think he's using... That's his, also why he partly hates himself, because he's so good at this. Well, he understands the emotion because he feels it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, in a way, like, because just because you feel an emotion doesn't mean you can empathize. Because empathy, like, requires you to be, like, like you feel it too. And, like, I, I mean... I think he does. I think that's why he hates himself. I think that's part of it. I think he's so... His, his emotional intelligence is so high... Yeah, his, no, his ability to understand and put himself in everyone no. else's shoes is so high yeah, that that's, he can... That's not empathy, mean, though. Like, he can... You understanding how someone feels and how they're going to react is not the same thing as empathy. Isn't that the definition of empathy? No, that's sympathy. <laughs> like, you can understand how someone feels and, like, why they would feel that way. And, and what's how they empathy? Would, empathy is actually feeling what the other person feels. Like... Yeah, I think he does that. I think that's why he's sad all the time. That's why I think he feels so bad about conning that woman he liked. I think he... I think... I believe he is very empathetic to, towards others. But he just uses it. And then he feels crappy about doing that. And so he makes people try to hate him. Because he knows what he's doing is wrong. Yeah, and that's why he's a sociopath. <laughs> I don't think he's a sociopath. I think... He's very empathetic. Because sociopaths can feel remorse too. Like, that's what I mean. They still I'm feel not, things. I, I, I know he feels things and yeah. I know they're capable of, of understanding that. I'm saying I don't think that's what he is. Oh, okay. What were we talking about? <laughs> oh, the frog. Yeah, the frog. Like, yeah. I, I just didn't think, I don't it was think that was necessary. Ex- I, that doesn't extend to animals. <laughs> huh? I mean, if you're southern and white, it doesn't extend to animals. <laughs> they love hunting and killing. And Sawyer is a good old boy. <laughs> I don't think we should generalize a whole population of people. Eh, what are they going to do? Hate me more? (laughs) 
Yeah, but that's just not. I don't think that's right. Look, hey, you know what? I don't question think for the question for the comment section. Are you if you live in the South? Am I right? <laughs> Do do a lot of southern you know is killing animals like a thing a lot of southern people do? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, you have to specify though, because hunting and just killing animals for fun is not the same thing. I agree. Yeah. So, like birds, rats, or like even to like for like population control, frogs. right? Like people hunt for population control too. Yeah, I'm talking like recreational killing of small animals like birds, rats, frogs, turtles, for fun. For fun. Without a hunting license. Yes, correct. With like a BB gun or something. Or just, you know, for whatever reason. Because you're bored. Is that a thing? If you're from the South and you watch this video, <laughs> am I right? And that's a thing. Or is it not a thing? Let us know. Pretty sure it is. But if it's not, I, I'm legitimately curious to see what you say in the comment section. Yeah, because I've never heard this about... I am shocked. Because it's, never... it's in a lot of TV. It's how I learn most things. <laughs> a lot of TV shows express this. Yeah, I mean, I've never like heard of the stereotype that like and books that Mo- mostly to people kill a like a lot of people from the south are like kill people for or kill people kill like small animals for fun. Yeah, because they're small animals. Like I've, they can't I've think, heard the hunting. They like, can't think good like well, us people. I know, like I know, like hunting is is a thing. Like mm-hmm. oh yeah, and like that's what I've heard. But and like you need I've, a license and yeah, you gotta, of course, right? Like. And you have deer population, deer But I haven't spread. seen, I haven't seen like the whole, like just in general though, a lot of people in the South, like just like to kill small animals for fun when they're young. Hmm? Yeah. I haven't yeah. heard that or seen that. It's mainly the hunting thing that I've seen as like a stereotype. Right. Which I don't know if it's true or not. I, so. To be clear, what I'm saying is a stereotype. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I am stere- I am generalizing an entire population, and it might not apply 100% of the time, especially nowadays. But based on people I've met who do do that, pretty sure it's a thing. How many people have you met? Uh, how many uncles do I have? <laughs> Some of them are definitely uh, what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Uh, <laughs> cousins. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, so if you think... Never mind. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but like you're... If you're saying your uncles are like that... And cousins. And Okay. And... But like... And Sawyer is similar. Yeah. But he's not that. But also, you know... To kill a mockingbird. What about it? Literally, it's a... To kill a mockingbird. It's like, it's okay to shoot birds and frogs, but not a mockingbird. Because they make music. So they're good. So you should not, don't kill one of those. But all the other animals is fine. That's literally the point of the book. I mean, not the point of the book. That's not the point of the book (laughs) at all. But it's a memorable, Uh. it's what the title comes from, is that conversation. Obviously, it's about racism and classism. (laughs) It's comparing the mockingbird to easy scapegoats, such as black men who are in the wrong place at the wrong time. But, so in a way, it is about it. (laughs) But well, yeah, specifically, but it's, a, it's, it's a commentary on it. The it's line it's right. <laughs> to kill a mockingbird is in reference to the dad telling their kids, it's okay to kill all these other animals, but not a mockingbird. <laughs> it's a good book. It is a good book. Usually, yeah. usually when we have to read books in school, I don't like it. But that one I liked. I, I, I quite enjoyed book. that one. Uh, anything else to say about this episode? <laughs> I mean, yeah, some but... stuff happened. We, we, yeah. There's a new character on the island. And we're real curious about who this dude is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just think, like, the, the <laughs> that whole, like, yeah, little Sawyer Hurley adventure was, like... Wasn't needed. Yeah. In fact, I'm probably not going to include most of it in this video. I'm yeah. I'm probably going to cut a lot of it out. Unless, uh, except for the parts where we, like, comment or joke loudly or interestingly about it. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. just because it is... Even though it was, like, meant to lighten, I guess, but... It, yeah. Yeah. It didn't really... It was just supposed to light. And, and to show that Hurley's been stealing food. Or that he stashed a bunch of food. Yeah, like... I mean, p- other people might have stashed food too, but he was the one in charge of the food, so he probably stashed more earlier. Yeah, I guess it's just like, I just didn't, like, why, why, why? Like... <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure you're coming the next time we do this a week from today. Unless you're watching this a different day. <laughs>
the day this came out, we're going to do another one, but a week <laughs> later. Bye. <laughs>